Okay, so this is part two of the geometry proofs series that I'm doing here. I know these can be challenging, so I'm doing more than one video because there's so many of them. Okay, so now I'm working on Khan Academy and I'm in the congruence unit. So you'll find proofs throughout the congruence unit. They'll even ask you, they'll ask you, you know, like fill this out, fill in the blank, or what was the first mistake? Keyword, first mistake. So there might be more. So for this one here, Joe tried to prove that the sum of the interior angle sum measure is 80, 180 degrees, which we know it is 180, but he needs to prove it. So uh, let's see, he constructed line L through C parallel to AB. So he made those lines parallel. Then he said angle four plus equals angle two. So this angle here equals angle two plus and angle one equals angle five and the reason alternate interior angles. Okay, let's see. So he constructed these parallel lines here and here that would be alternate interior and then here five and two would be alternate interior, okay? So then he said five plus four plus three equals 180 because it's a linear pair, which yes. And one plus two plus three equals 180 because substitution. So if one equals five, we substitute it five here. Wait, hold on, let's see. So one equals five. So they substitute it one here and four equals two. So they substitute it. So it doesn't look like uh, Joe made any mistakes here, but let's see. Uh, the substitution isn't correct. One, two. So the ones where you have to find the mistakes, these ones are a little harder. I just realized that the, he said four is equal to two. Those are not alternate interior angles. He had messed up. He should have said four is equal to one and five is equal to two. So this is where he had messed up. Four is not equal to two. It's equal to one and one is equal to five. No, sorry, a five is equal to two. So that is where he messed up. That's the mistake that was kind of hard to miss. Okay, so. I mean, hard to uh, see. Okay, so uh, here, this is where we would actually fill out a proof. So one, two, three equal 180 because the sum of a triangle is 180. Uh, two plus four is 180 because they're a linear pair. So then they substitute it. If this is 180 and this is 180, then we can substitute and say, what we. so what are we trying to prove here? Uh, complete the proof that the exterior angle measures the two interior angles. So one, which is called the exterior angle theorem. So these two angles equal angle four. And we can prove that this is true for, and I hate this question because it's kind of sometimes hard to say, is this for every triangle or only for, or only for this specific triangle? Uh, this should work for every triangle because you know the exterior angle theorem is always a thing. And so that's how you would fill out the proof for that one. Let's skip this one here. And let's look at another proof here before we go. Okay, so uh, Issa tried to prove that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. So she's trying to prove that these two base angles here are congruent. So she put the pair of sides there that's given, and then you're gonna construct AD here, right? So it's gonna make two right triangles. So if that's 90 degrees, that's 90 degrees. So then we have a pair of angles here. Right, and then AD, AD is congruent to itself, reflexive property. So make sure she's naming everything in the correct order. A, okay, so AB, AC, that looks good and it's given, okay. Construct AD, which we did. Angle ADB is congruent to ADC, 90 degrees. Definition of altitude, reflexive property, that looks good. Triangle BAD is congruent to CAD, hypotenuse leg congruent. Hmm. We do have the hypotenuse and we do have a leg. So this over here is the leg. And the hypotenuses are here. 
So hypotenuse leg congruent. And since that is the case, we can then say that everything about them is the same. So BAD is congruent to CAD. Corresponding angles of congruent triangles are congruent. So where Let's make sure everything matches up. Let's see here. Let's go back up. Oops. Okay, we must find the error. Okay, so in the proof, she was supposed to prove the base angles of the isosceles triangles are congruent. In this last step here, she did not name the base angles, right? She said BAD which is this angle here, and CAD, which is that angle there. She named these two angles. That's not correct. She should have said ABD and, uh, ABD and ACD. So these are not the base angles, right? So when you're doing a proof, you don't go proving random things that's not relevant. You go and prove what they tell you to prove. So it's very specific. Okay, so keep practicing those proofs. Let me know if you have any questions and good luck.